Tango 21. Roger, right, I'm on the Mustang 3000, as rare as hen's teeth and as wide as a barn door. Hopefully the receiver isn't like that. No, it's a Cybernet 002F lurking inside. Roger got you at Ancaster Service Station. Right, we're now passing through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger got you going through Ancaster Crossroads. Right, we're now going over the top of the hill. So it's got into, go down in towards the Roger got you at the top of the hill. Roger got you going around Scratchy Corner at Willsford. The radio is developing a full 4 watts and this radio is drawing 1.8 amps to do so. Over. Roger got you at Willsford Level Crossing. Is it the top secret train or aren't we late enough? The top secret military one nobody knows about goes across about midnight. Oh, is that top secret? Yeah. <laughs> one day we'll set up a camcorder and see what really goes on. Roger got you at the Kelby turn. You just said Kelby over. Roger got you at the Grayley's turn. Roger got you going over Rosby Level Crossing, and you may be interested or not be interested to know that this set is 0.23 of a microvolt on receive for 12 decibel cyanide, and the York 863 with the same customers is 0.24. So this makes it better than the York 863. Right, thanks for the test. Yep, I would say no problem. 10-10. 10-10, thanks. Right, we'll go over to our base station and we'll see how this performs. As I say, uh, when we looked at the results yesterday, uh, they all exceed the 0.5 microvolt received specification, which the manufacturer said they did, and the Mustang 1000 was 0.31, the Mustang 2000 was 0.45, and this is 0.23 and I've done his York 863 today and it was 0.24 all doing a full 4 watts it's a lot more than can be said for current models just go over to the base Tango 21 testing the customer's Mustang CB3000 from 1981 into our Harrier CBHQ base station using a standard generic replacement mic testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 Thank you for watching, and when I let go of this mic, you'll hear the non-switchable Roger Bleed.